This is Bruce MacArthur, charged in the murders of Andrew Kinsman and Salim Essen, men who went missing from the village last year. Today, he made his first court appearance. I'm Christina Howarin, and I'm in North York, outside of the Thorncliffe apartment building that MacArthur calls home. Now, police have reportedly had the man under surveillance for several months. You can see that they are still here. They have been here all day, and they have been combing through his materials, trying to find more evidence, going through his personal effects and his computer's hard drive. Now, sources confirm that police found evidence in the back seat and trunk of a vehicle that MacArthur was allegedly bringing to a junkyard, and that evidence is what prompted his swift arrest yesterday morning. A 66-year-old Toronto man was arrested yesterday and charged with the murder of Salim Essen and Andrew Kinsman. MacArthur made a brief appearance in court this morning and will remain in custody until February 14th. That's when he appears in court through a video link. We came because of we sort of felt like someone from the community needed to be here uh, to see. I wanted to see the face of this person. I can't speak for the entire community, but I can say that, like, it sort of explains where the, possibly some of these people could be missing and where what happened. On his now-removed Facebook profile, MacArthur listed himself as self-employed, and we know he worked as a landscaper. His profile included several pictures of himself dressed as Santa. There are photos of him with what appears to be his grandchildren. Now, Agent Court Mall confirms that he was hired through an agency to play the role of Santa over several holidays at the shopping center. They say there were no reported incidents. We also know that he is a grown daughter who lives in the Durham region, and an ex-wife who lives in Bowmanville. We tried to speak with her today. Now, obviously, she wasn't interested in speaking with the media, but residents of Madoc, two hours outside of Toronto and where Toronto police are searching this hour, were quite happy to speak with our own Amanda Ferguson. Toronto Police Forensics also on scene here of this rural property in Madoc. A detective confirming to City News that this is one of five properties they are searching as part of Project Prism. The neighbours now wondering if the man they often saw working in the garden here is the same one accused of murdering two men Bruce MacArthur. At first it was really shocking and when we got home and found out what was happening it was like oh my god that's your first initial oh my god. Shock and surprise over how Madoc and this property is somehow connected to a major Toronto murder investigation. The OPP and Toronto forensic officers have been on scene of this home since yesterday when they announced they have arrested and charged Bruce MacArthur in connection to the disappearance of at least two gay men. Immediately, residents like Joanne Irvin say they recognize this face. He does look like the same person. I and mean, I phoned someone else who had actually met him, and he confirmed that he was pretty sure that it was MacArthur he spoke to. He is self employed as a landscaper. And then one piece of information announced at Thursday's news conference suddenly stood out to residents here. Police say MacArthur ran his own landscaping business. I've only always seen just kind of one person there. Once the person moved in and the big truck pulled away, I started noticing instantly that there was a lot of um, landscaping going on. Toronto police officers could be seen Friday photographing the home, bringing in boxes, while the OPP, who is here to secure the scene, stood guard. How long have you lived in Maydoc for? Twelve years. Oh. Are you shocked to hear that this is part of a major investigation? Very shocked, yeah. A resident who lives across the street from the scene says the home was purchased this summer by a man, but not believed to be MacArthur. What connection the two have, if any, remains a mystery. Have you ever heard of Bruce MacArthur at all? No. Or seen him? No, no. That's my friend. I used to live up the road there, and he sold the house, and this other guy bought the house. Police have said the bodies of the missing men have never been found, something these residents hope happen, whether here in Madoc or anywhere else. I hope they have found the man because I have been following what's been going on in Toronto and it has been terrifying you know having to find out that these gentlemen are having to walk home in pairs now and the fear that it could be somebody next is horrific and the fact that it can now be over and maybe some closure brought to these families is fantastic.
As for what part this property plays in their investigation, police won't say. When asked what they were looking to find here, one detective simply said, quote, we don't know what we're going to find. In Madoch, Amanda Ferguson, City News.